Hi, I'm Neil with Covers and Camo, your source for custom seat covers. Today we are doing the install on the Honda Ridgeline. We're super excited about this. Black soft touch insert with the Cryptek Highlander trim. It's gonna look awesome. We're gonna walk you through all the steps on how to put this on inside here and show you the after photos, before and after photos. It's gonna be an awesome set, so stay tuned. I'm doing this passenger seat first here, but uh, this is the passenger backrest. Really pretty simple after you take the headrest off, you wanna pull those out. And you're just gonna take that backrest piece, and I, I have this, I know this is the side airbag cutout section. So you just open that up, slide it over, and there's gonna be Velcro on the front side. Again, this is the 2013, so this is how this one uh, fits on here. But there's Velcro on the front side, and that's actually gonna stick to this felt underneath the seat right there. So we're gonna push that down, stick it down. There's two little cutouts as well here to watch out for. There's these kind of cables that go underneath the seat there. Uh, but we're gonna pull that over and then also on this seat, uh, similar to a lot of other trucks, they do have these felt flaps underneath. And what you can do is you can reach underneath and you can actually unhook these uh, these little elastics that hold that flap up right there, and then that's gonna loosen that up, so then that'll make the bottom install a little bit easier. You wouldn't necessarily have to do that portion, but it does free up a little bit more space if you do that. But then the backrest, so you can see this, the backrest is just gonna pull down. Since there's Velcro on this side right here, you're gonna take that Velcro and stick it onto the back of that belt right there. Okay, so the back, top of the headrest, there's these headrest posts right here. You Technically, you could leave it like that if you wanted, but that's not really the way to install it. What you're gonna wanna do is take the little plastic trim tool that comes with the seat covers and then work that around. I'm doing this one-handed since I'm holding the camera with the other one, but there we go. So that pops over just like that, and that is how it should finish out, right around like that. So that, that looks a lot cleaner doing the install like that. These are the side airbag attachment pieces. You're just gonna wanna make sure after you have this installed or pulled over, then you pull these Velcro pieces. There's three of them. Stick that there, here, and then down here. And then just kinda tuck that in to the plastic trim right there. One trick as you are pulling this backrest, this is the, again, passenger backrest, as you're pulling that down and sticking down these Velcro pieces, you're gonna wanna kinda hold kinda firm and then reach down as far as it can go and then stick down that, that Velcro down there. So I'm gonna do that same kind of thing. Just kind of hold firm, push against the seat, and then it may catch the bottom a little bit, but make sure you just push through that and it should stick to the, the backrest felt, okay? Same thing, there's kind of three pieces on this particular model that has Velcro that you push down right there, perfect. So a lot of the times these pieces will have labels. So this is driver's bottom. So this is the bottom section here. Now, if it doesn't have a label on this particular vehicle, you can also tell that uh, the inside, and a lot of vehicles do have this, is on the inside, it's a little bit of a deeper fabric, fabric piece right here on the inside versus the outside is a little bit more shallow because that's just gonna tuck into the outside plastic right there. Okay, so we'll start with the bottoms. Doing the passenger bottom now, and as you can see, I have it in in place, but now we need to start fastening it down. So there's Velcro on this back side right here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this through underneath, and that's that Velcro is gonna stick to the felt on the, the bottom. There's some felt underneath there. Okay, but before I push that through, I wanna line up this front edge right where I want it. Now, if you see that it's kinda curving over a little bit too far, or too far back, line that up before you stick that Velcro down, because once you stick that Velcro down, it's a little bit harder to adjust it. The other thing you're gonna wanna do is untie these strings right here, so they're just straight, loose strings, like that, because they're gonna tuck into the seat here in a second. But the next step now is just push this through. Once this is lined up, all the seams are kinda lined up there. Push this through, stick that on, and then what we're gonna do is tuck in these sides with our plastic trim tool into the plastic there, and then also on the inside. This ridge line is unique, different from some other trucks where we tuck this in 
right here into that plastic right there. On this outside piece here, you're gonna wanna take your plastic trim tools and tuck this in to that plastic outside section right there. And then you're gonna do the same thing on this particular ridge line. You're gonna wanna do the same thing because there's a plastic trim on the inside of these trucks as well right here. So you're gonna do the same thing with this and tuck it in as far as, as far as you can get it. So that way it just tucks into that plastic. Now that you have these sides tucked in there, it's time to drop the strings down the back. And where I'm gonna drop them is straight down. You see there's a gap right there between the seat and the plastic. I'm gonna drop it straight down right through there. And this one on the inside, I'm gonna drop it straight down right through that gap right there as well. So right in there. So dropping that in there, there, then that's gonna allow me to tie those two strings around the back side. These strings don't have to be real tight. Their purpose really is more for aesthetics and kind of keep these, this trim just kind of hugging up to the seat there a little bit more. They don't do a lot for keeping the seat cover in place, rather again, more for aesthetics and keep it looking nice. I passed those strings through, so I'll get those in a second. But before I go around to the back side of the seat, I'm also gonna take these two straps that are on the front side right here and pass those two straps around to the back. And as I do that, I'm gonna try my best to avoid you know, getting it to compress on any electric controls or cables and stay as close to the seat as possible. So I'll probably look underneath here and figure out best directions of how to do that, best, best way to do that, but, and kind of the straight, most straight shot, open shot back. And if, the, if you have a seat that has an electric uh, control to raise it, a lot of driver seats do, I'd raise it up all the way because that's gonna open the seat up to pass that back down there. And then, again, just give me a little bit more space to work with underneath there. This passenger seat doesn't because it's just a, a manual control. Okay, now that I'm on the back side here, uh, what I'm gonna do, actually, what is nice to do first is tying off the strings first uh, because then when you do the straps, they can just hold that string up nice and tight. So I'll take, the, there's that one string right there. And then here's the other string I need to find. It's just inside there, I need to reach up and grab it. And I'm gonna tie those off. So what I'm doing with this string is I tie a loop in one right here and then I take the other one right here and I take this over and again you want to not pull too hard on these strings because I have snapped these in the past and sometimes you snap them and you just got to retie them um, but a loop there and then I'm hooking the other one around and I'm pulling it up and then just gonna tie it off underneath there again it doesn't need to be real tight and if you are gonna pull on this instead of pulling at a 90 degree angle pull it straight back. So like this one right here, for example, I just kind of pull straight back on it that way. So it's not pulling over any kind of metal edge. And the same thing right here, I would just pull this one straight back to tighten it up if I needed to. But again, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to crank on these real tight. I've, I've learned that over the years that, you know, this it more is just, you just kind of pull it a little bit to get it kind of tugged up there. And then the ones that you can crank on a little bit more are these straps when, and buckles. Those, those can withstand a little bit more weight, but. So you just pull that up right there. Okay, that, that feels snug to me. I could, I could even go around and check it on the front side, but it's probably pretty good. And then I'm just gonna tie that off right there. I have that string tied off now. So there it is right there. And now these straps are gonna go, gonna attach on now. So here's a strap coming from the front up there and it's coming up to this buckle and what it's gonna what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna go through this middle slot right here and then I'm gonna go through the outside slot right here and then pull that pull that tight and that's the same method for all of these that have straps to buckles so I'll just pull that tight, nice, right there, just like that. And then this middle strap right here, you'll, you're probably wondering, okay, what do I do with this guy? So this is a strap that, it, this strap right here goes to a solid bar underneath or a spring. So you just feel underneath your seat, find a solid, solid bar or solid spring that's actually attached to the seat. And then what you're gonna do is it's gonna come back 
to itself to this buckle right here and then fasten into that. And that just really makes sure that in case of this Velcro ever was to come loose, that this, this cover never slides forward. So again, I went to a solid bar underneath and now I'm just gonna go back to this buckle right here and cinch that up. So I have those straps underneath this seat secured on now. And if you ever wanted to tighten it down a little bit more, and if you're trying to crank on it a little bit more, this is one idea for you is, now I, this is actually, uh, looking at this right now, it's actually looking really good. I, I don't feel like I need to get that down any tighter. But if you wanted to, you could compress this seat right here so you can push down on it and then reach underneath and we'll grab those straps where they were underneath there and then what you could do is reach around with your other hand and pull that strap as you're compressing on it and that helps to kind of stabilize that strap so it's not getting too much pressure right on the sew lines but rather be able to compress the seat a little bit and then pull it pull it tight that that can work pretty good if you want to tighten that up but that's that's really pretty snug how that's looking right there. Okay guys, so here's another little tip for you. Now, these straps on the driver's side, there's there's this front plastic that's not on the, the passenger side over here for us. So if you are doing this install over here, you're, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna take this strap and actually, and some people could install it on the outside. You, you, that would be a way to do it, but it's actually gonna look a little bit cleaner if we drop this strap on the inside of that plastic and then go back to the buckles and we'll see how that goes and show you how that, that is for you. So what, what you're seeing now is we strapped the, or we put the straps on the inside of this plastic right here. And you just, it's a little bit tight, but they fit through. You push them through there and then they go back to the buckles and that's gonna finish out a lot cleaner for you right there. And Eric, who I'm doing the install with today, mentioned a good, thing to remind you of is that as you're bringing those straps back sometimes they can twist and I definitely like being able to untwist those straps and then so they're just flat going all the way back to the buckles and that's that's really the better way to do them. Now we're gonna do these headrests and the hard console lid cover so I have the two headrests out and they're just gonna slide over and velcro on so not too bad of an install for those. The front side of the headrest is gonna be this one with the kind uh, of uh, hook velcro right here and the loop is going to be the back side so as you can see here's there's the front right there and there's that kind of wide hook piece on the front and there's the back of it right there so that just pulled over just velcros on and then then you can put your headrest back in right there here's the hard console lid cover so it just pulled over on top here and as you can see no Velcro pieces because this hard console actually is a sliding console where it can slide forward. A lot of the times though, there will be Velcro pieces that go across right here, but this one has elastics. And as you can see, I mean, I'm, I'm pushing it pretty good right now. We're gonna test this out a little bit more, but it's it's staying on there pretty good. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna have Eric, the customer, kind of give me a, a feedback down the road here and make sure in a year or so it's still still holding on but uh, that is seeming to hold pretty good right now even without those velcro straps the th problem with those velcro straps is if you move them quite a if you if you're sliding this forward then that velcro can just get caught and kind of impede that so anyhow that's that's how that one fits on does look good on there and does definitely cover that and is going to protect that hard console from the wear and tear we had these hooked up onto the special ops package here. So that freed up the space underneath there, but we're gonna unhook those now. Uh, bring, take these underneath again and hook them back onto a spring. They were just kind of loosely tied onto a spring, not even tied, just kind of folded over onto a spring. Um, so you could do the same thing to attach them back on there. And then just make sure this sticks down right here. And then we're gonna start on the back seat. First cover we're doing here on the backrest is the armrest cup holder that folds out right here. So that we just got it pulled over. There's gonna be two Velcro. There's a Velcro felt or hook piece right there. Well, hook piece right here and then loop piece right here. And you're just gonna 
fit that on and then push those around. It's a little tight, to, you know, but you got to get your hands underneath and then just stick those two pieces of Velcro together. So this is the armrest cover. Got it on now. That back Velcro went together. We kind of had to pull and pull it in, just try to center it as much as centered up as much as we could right there. And then still leaves access for those cup holders and that little tray right there. Right now I am doing the passenger side rear backrest. And what you're gonna wanna do is these, technic technically you could release these backrests, sounds like, uh, with some extra work and removing some bolts, but for this seat cover install, we won't need to do that. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do first is just line up these headrest posts right there and get those hooked around. And then these, these pieces here are gonna end up tucking in with our uh, fiber stick tool. And then on the side over here, there's gonna be a Velcro piece right here that this actually, this outside of the seat can kind of pull forward like this, just as I pull on it. And then that's gonna give me enough space to then reach around and stick this Velcro down. Now also where there's Velcro is underneath the seat uh, down here. And this Velcro is gonna reach underneath and stick on to the seat down there. So here's the backrest cover. We lined these up here, stuck these um, cover in, tucked it in right there with the plastic trim tool there. Um, this one kind of just caps around right there and just kind of tucks in right there. So the backrest is bat tucked in now, just tucked these pieces in with that tool. There are two kind of solid bars right here. You're not gonna be able to tuck in real tight right there but I was able to tuck those in and then on, on kind of around the, there and then in the middle. And then Velcro stuck down down here. Now, one thing to be aware of is underneath this seat is you wanna watch out for these child seat belt bars right here and not cover over those, okay? So you, the cover will actually stick to the seat and right up above that. So make sure that when you're putting that down, it's going above that and that you're not covering over those bars. So here's the rear passenger bottom. Now, this one, I'm gonna untie these strings here. I'm gonna get those ready. And then there's gonna be Velcro on this backside right here. That's gonna push through, stick down to the Velcro. And then this is gonna pull up and then we'll get it all fastened on. So this under piece right here, this is right underneath the, the armrest. Uh, you may want to do this piece potentially before you do that armrest cover, but this piece right here just caps over right here and then you push that far back and it kind of sticks underneath the, the plastic there as well. And that, that's kind of a tight one to do. You got to kind of compress that foam and then kind of, I like to fold it inside out almost again and then get it right up to the corner and then fold it over that and then it, it folds over better there. Now again, I'm gonna stick, next step is I'm gonna stick this Velcro down and I'm watching out for these uh, child seatbelt attachment bars. And cause that's gonna go right against the seat, don't cover those bars. What you're gonna wanna do on this outside is take again the trim tool and push that in, tuck it in right there. It's gonna finish out a lot better. And then on the underside right here, tied off this string right here. So this string is just going across right there and then make sure that you get it on the underside of this bar because as that bar folds out, it'll just uh, open up and it's not gonna catch the bar right there. And I'm gonna take some scissors and just trim off these, these two extra pieces right there. Here is the driver's side rear bottom done now, string tied up. We got it tucked underneath the bar so that can bar can release and then be able to just hug back on the string there. And looks really good on the bottom there. Okay, perfect. So we just got this all installed now. Things are looking great and really excited with how everything turned out. The, the rear seat as well, nice and tight, looking good again. Uh, if you have any questions as you're doing this install, feel free to contact us. So website's coversandcamo.com. Phone number is 435-789-2270. Happy to walk you through any other questions that you might have on this truck or even if you're installing on a different truck, uh, happy to go over any of that with you there. We'll do some more walkthrough and take some other photos of it now, but again, install turned out great.
Thanks so much for watching. Again, this has been Neil here with Covers and Camel, your source for custom seat covers. Thanks.